In this set of video tutorials, let us try to calculate the percentage of annual salary which is drawn by individual employees. So, percentage of total annual salary which is drawn by Bruce or Jacob or Melvin, that's basically what we want to do in this set of video tutorials. So, the ideal way of looking at this is basically we're talking about Bruce salary which is 30,000 US dollars divided by the overall salary which is drawn by total employees. So in this case if we have to use the division formula we'll start with equal to as usual as we have learned in the earlier videos. We will click on G4 so that uh, 30,000 US dollars is selected and we'll choose the division sign and uh, we will click on the total salary column which is G24 and we press enter. So with this, what we find is that this number is in decimals and uh, this decimal can be converted into percentages which we have learned earlier. So this can be expressed in no decimals. We can increase these decimals by one or two. So basically Bruce is drawing 2.63% of the total salary. So that's what we have done for Bruce. Now if we have to do the same thing for Jacob, we will have to retype the formula which is equal to G5 divided by G24. So this turns out to be 0 0.04412 and when expressed in percentages and uh, extending the uh, decimal points this is now equal to 4.41. Now earlier if you remember we also were trying to calculate uh, the sum totals of the monthly and the annual by copying this formula here and pasting the same formula in the next cell. So this had worked well for us because we wanted the same formula to be copied and pasted across. So why can't we do the same thing here? So if you have done it for Bruce separately, why there's a need to calculate the formula separately for Jacob? So let's try and figure out what probably comes out in terms of final numbers. So let's calculate uh, the percentage of annual salary for Melvin and uh, we right click and copy and we paste it and what we find here is that if we go into the cell we find that it is G6 which obviously is Melvin's annual salary however in the denominator you can see you know the denominator has changed by one row it should have ideally taken total salary however it has taken maximum salary so I'll press escape to come out of this uh, situation and uh, what we find is 100% which is obviously the wrong uh, percentage of total salary. So probably we are missing here something. So the idea here is that if you copy this formula from Jacob's cell and paste it across, what happens is it the G5 changes to G6 and G24 changes to G25. So all the cells shift by one row. That's what we were kind of doing. We have to really avoid a situation where instead of G4, if we had this as G24, we would have uh, been able to calculate the overall formulas for the other employees as well. So let us uh, see you know how Excel has designed its set of functions in order to help us uh, achieve this goal. So for this, I'll take you to sheet 4 and uh, we will learn further about referencing. Now we have done a very uh, normal referencing as of now. Let me type in some numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4. What do we understand by normal reference? A normal reference is I want to link let's say I'll press equal to and I want to show in cell A7 whatever is inside cell A3. So the moment I press enter it shows me number one which is inside cell A3. So this is a normal reference equal to cell A3. So we are designing this that it should be a mirror image. We can copy this function. This is a, this is a normal reference. We can copy this reference and paste it. And what we see is that this reference has shifted from A3 to B3 because we have shifted this formula from cell number A7 to cell number B7. So it automatically takes care of the 
additional columns uh, shifted. Now let us shift this number 1 from row 7 to row 8 and let us look at what happens when we copy this and paste it. So we find that it also shifts one row from A3 it shifts to A4. So what we essentially find is that it is really following the number of movements which you are doing in terms of normal references. So this is basically about normal references. Let us uh, understand what what is meant by absolute references. Now absolute references, I'll first show you how to come to absolute references and then I'll comment on that. For absolute references we need to press equal to and let's say this is the number that we want. For absolute references what we mean is just have a dollar sign in front of A and uh, type a dollar sign in front of 3 and press enter. So at this stage nothing changes here it is still referencing to cell A3 but now we have dollar signs in between. Now let us see what happens when we try to copy and paste this formula from D to E. Okay, So I am trying to do that and the moment I do it I find that this reference is still pointing to the original location which was A3. It has not moved from A3 to B3 like in this case it moved from A3 to B3 however in this case it is not moving from A3 to B3 however it is still pointing to the original location likewise let me copy right click and copy this and paste it one row below the original location and what I find now is that it's still pointing to the original location. Let me copy and paste it in some random location let's say you know G2 still points to the original location. So what is the advantage of absolute references is that if you are using a term which let's say needs to be referenced or anchored and you don't want that cell to move you can use absolute references. So let's go back and move back to our case study and see how it can be applied here. So let's go and look at Bruce. So Bruce percentage of total salary was G4 divided by G24. So I want G4 to move uh, when I move from Bruce to Jacob each time I change the formula it should move one row down. However when it comes to the denominator which is the total salary this total salary number should be fixed. So coming from our previous experiences about what we have learned in absolute references we can put a dollar sign in front of G and we can also put a dollar sign in front of 24. So the moment we do that nothing would change especially for Bruce nothing changes however we should be in a position to copy this formula let's say we do a right click and uh, we copy and paste this formula. So we find that the numerator has changed from G4 to G5 however the denominator is still the same which is total salary. Likewise let us do the same thing for Melvin. Right click paste it and this time we find that it is giving the correct answer as G24 is anchored because of absolute references. So what we can do is we can again use a shortcut. We can just use the plus sign which is at the bottom right hand corner of the cell and drag it till the very bottom and you will find that all the formulas for the percentages are calculated automatically. So this is how you know you can use absolute references